Hello today's video we have the following content. Luo Jin is bringing a new anti-Japanese war drama, the heroine is the golden horse film queen, see the director clearly, netizens, the ratings are stable. The anti-Japanese war drama market is changing, classic works and magic dramas are performed alternately. In recent years, the domestic drama market has staged a dramatic anti-Japanese war drama. Once upon a time, classics such as Bright Sword, My Captain, My Regiment, and Snow Leopard made the audience intoxicated, with dub and scores as high as 8 and 9 points, and the ratings are rising steadily. These works not only won a great victory in word of mouth, but also won the ratings, which can be called a veritable double harvest masterpiece. However, as time goes by, anti-Japanese war dramas have gradually fallen into the quagmire of magic dramas. The once popular subject has now become the object of public ridicule. The audience can't help but wonder, what happened? Fortunately, the emergence of excellent works such as Crossing the Yalu River, Shanginling, and Changjin Lake has regained the favor of the audience for anti-Japanese war dramas and restored the reputation of this subject in the minds of the public. Just as the market for anti-Japanese war dramas was changing, a highly anticipated new work Reconnaissance Heroes came out of nowhere and will meet the audience in mid-November. As soon as the news came out, it immediately set off a wave of enthusiasm among fans of anti-Japanese war dramas. Many drama fans said that there is finally a good drama to chase. What is even more surprising is that the drama is not only led by the powerful actor Luo Jin, but the heroine is also played by Golden Horse film queen Ma Sichen. The lineup is so strong that it is eye-catching. The story background of Reconnaissance Heroes is set during the Fourth Battle of the War to resist U.S. aggression and aid Korea in 1951. The plot focuses on the heroic deeds of Liang Chen, the chief of the reconnaissance department of a certain division of the volunteer army. Liang Chen led the reconnaissance company as a pioneer, and with his extraordinary wisdom and courage, he successfully delayed the enemy's attack and bought precious time for the evacuation of the entire division. In the fierce battle with the enemy, Liang Chen not only showed outstanding military talents, but also made great contributions to the victory of the War of Resistance with his intelligence. At the same time, he also gained a touching love story, adding a touch of warmth to the tense war theme. As the news of scouting heroes spread, the enthusiasm of netizens was instantly ignited. Especially when the audience learned about the director lineup of the show, they exclaimed, this wave of ratings is stable. Indeed, it is hard for people not to follow the show. The joining of two heavyweight directors has undoubtedly injected a shot of adrenaline into the show. First of all, director Zhang Ziya Long, who is well known in the industry, is at the helm. As a well-known director in domestic dramas, Zheng Ziya Long has dedicated many well-known high-scoring masterpieces to the audience. From Beijingers in New York to the legend of Zhen Huan to meritorious service, each work is a masterpiece. He has won many awards such as the Golden Eagle Award, the Huadin Award, and the Magnolia Award, and his strength is unquestionable. With him in control of the overall situation, the quality of scouting heroes can be said to have the most solid guarantee. Working with director Zhang Ziya along is director Ens Hanjin, who is also very capable. Ens Hanjin's name may not be as well known as Zhang Ziya along, but his works are equally impressive. Classic dramas such as Tube Building and Mekong River Case are all from his hands. It is especially worth mentioning that Ens Hanjin has unique insights and rich experience in the field of anti-Japanese war dramas. The strong combination of these two gold medal directors has undoubtedly made the quality of reconnaissance heroes even better and also made netizens full of confidence in the ratings of the show. In addition to the expected director lineup, the cast of Reconnaissance Heroes is also star-studded. The male lead Luo Jin is a rare powerful actor in today's film and television industry. Over the years, he has created many screen images that have impressed the audience with his steady acting skills. Whether it is the wise and comky Aoshe Oding in the suspense drama Outside the Court or the ambitious Kingsi in the costume drama The Long River of the World, Luo Jin has conquered the audience with his superb acting skills. In Reconnaissance Heroes, Luo Jin will challenge the role of Liang Chen, the chief of the Reconnaissance Department. Liang Chen is a brave and resourceful military talent with quick thinking, who can always exchange the smallest sacrifice for the greatest victory. This is undoubtedly a new challenge for Luo Jin, who rarely plays in anti-Japanese war themes. The audience is looking forward to seeing how Luo Jin interprets this wise and brave military hero. The heroine Ma Sichen, who partners with Luo Jin, greatly enhances the value of this drama. As the Golden Horse film queen, Ma Sichen's acting skills are naturally beyond doubt. 
She won the Golden Horse Award for her role as July in the movie July and Anshin and became a well-deserved film queen. Although Ma Sitchin has not appeared in many works in recent years, she has shown a very high level of acting skills every time she appears. In Reconnaissance Heroes, Ma Sitchin plays Wen Ji, a cultural soldier who is full of wisdom and proficient in foreign languages. This role not only shows intellectual beauty, but also blooms a unique charm in the cruel environment of war, while contributing her own strength to the victory of the anti-Japanese war. Ma Sitchin's joining has undoubtedly added a lot of highlights to the drama, and the audience is looking forward to what wonderful performance she can bring. In addition to the leading actors Lu Oh Jin and Ma Sitchin, Reconnaissance Heroes also brings together a number of powerful actors such as Yang Fan and Cao Lu. These supporting actors with good acting skills will undoubtedly add more fun and highlights to the plot. It can be said that Reconnaissance Heroes is carefully crafted in terms of the cast, striving to bring the best viewing experience to the audience. As the promotion of Reconnaissance Heroes gradually unfolds, the enthusiasm of netizens has also been thoroughly ignited. Many people said that with such a strong director team and cast, it is difficult for the ratings of this drama not to be high. More senior drama fans analyzed that director Zhang Ziyalong is good at shaping complex characters and constructing grand narratives, while director Ins Hanjin has a unique grasp of the theme of the war of resistance against Japan. The complementary advantages of the two are likely to collide with amazing sparks. This expectation is not only reflected in the ratings, but more in the confidence in the quality of the series. However, we should also look at the challenges that this drama may face objectively. Although the theme of the War of Resistance against Japan was once glorious, in recent years, excellent works and shoddy god dramas exist in the market, and the audience's tastes have become more and more picky. If Scouting Heroes wants to stand out in the fiercely competitive film and television market, it is far from enough to rely solely on a star lineup and a well-known director. The quality of the script, the degree of restoration of historical details, the depth of character creation, and the overall artistic expression will all be key factors in determining the success or failure of this drama. The audience hopes to see not only the thrilling war scenes, but also the joys, sorrows, anger, and sorrows of ordinary people in that special era, as well as their sacrifices and contributions to the country and the nation. It is worth mentioning that Scouting Heroes chooses to focus on the special group of scouts, which is itself quite innovative. Scouts play a vital but often overlooked role in war, and their wisdom and courage often determine the success or failure of a battle. Through the role of Liang Chen, the audience is expected to have a deep understanding of this mysterious and charming group, which will undoubtedly inject new vitality into the anti-Japanese war drama. In general, the arrival of scouting heroes is full of expectations. It may not only become an excellent anti-Japanese war drama, but also a new driving force for the development of the entire genre. We expect this drama to be innovative on the basis of inheriting the classics, allowing the audience to relive that magnificent history, and to trigger the cherishment and thinking of a happy life in peacetime. Of course, the true value of a work ultimately depends on the audience. Whether it is the director's directing level, the actor's acting skills, or the ingenious conception of the script, it will eventually be presented to the audience through the screen. We hope that reconnaissance heroes can live up to expectations, stand out in the fierce market competition, bring an audiovisual feast to the audience, and also contribute to the development of Chinese and Japanese war dramas. Let us look forward to the broadcast of Reconnaissance Heroes and witness whether this drama can become another classic and add new highlights to the Chinese TV drama market. Regardless of the final result, its appearance has injected new vitality into our film and television creation, which is itself a valuable attempt in progress. Thank you for watching the video. Please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,